All right, good morning. It's uh, March 31st, last day of March already. Time's just flying by. Hope you guys are having a good start to your year. For me, I've lost 30 pounds so far. I'm doing well and uh, I feel good. I'm, I'm um, greatly encouraged in, in pretty much every area of my life right now. And uh, anyway, I'm going to start off with uh, a devotion. I'm just reading the first half of Mark chapter 10. It's a big chapter. Um, it says, And he left and went into the region of Judea. And beyond the Jordan, crowds gathered to him again. And again, he was, as was his custom, he taught them. And Pharisees came up in order to test him and asked him, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? And he answered them, What did Moses command you? And they said, Moses allowed a man to write a certificate of divorce and to send her away. And Jesus said to them, Because of the hardness of your heart, he wrote you this commandment. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. And therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let man not separate. And in the house, his disciples asked him again about this matter. And he said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. And they were bringing children to him that he might touch them, and his disciples rebuked them. But when Jesus saw it, he was indignant, and he said to them, Let the little children come to me. Do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of God. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it. And he took them into his arms, and he blessed them, laying his hands on them. And as he was setting on his journey, a man ran out and knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good except God alone. You know the commandments. Do not murder. Do not commit adultery. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Do not defraud. Honor your father and mother. And he said to him, Teacher, all these things I have kept from my youth. And Jesus, looking at him, loved him. And said to him, You lack one thing. Go sell all that you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come follow me. Disheartened by the saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. And Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How difficult it will be for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples were amazed at his words, but Jesus said to them, Children, how difficult it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. And they were exceedingly astonished and said to him, Then who can be saved? And Jesus looked at them and said, With man it is impossible, but not with God, for all things are possible with God. Peter began to say to him, See, we have left everything and followed you. And Jesus said, Truly I say to you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sister or mother or father or children or lands for my sake and for the gospel, who will not receive a hundredfold now in this time, houses and brothers and sisters, mothers and lands with persecutions, and then the age to come, eternal life. But many who will who are first will be last, and the last will be first. Yeah, really great teaching here in Mark 10. Starts off with Jesus uh has the Pharisees come in? They're they're looking to test him. Is he going to contradict the law? You know, um, and can we divorce? And um, because of the hardness of their hearts, God had permitted them to divorce. You know, Moses permitted them to divorce, but but Jesus said that that was not God's intention in creating male and female. Um, and giving them that union uh, that uh, they're meant to stand before him as, as one flesh. And what God brings together, let man not separate. And when his disciples ask him further on this, he's like, yeah, whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. So it goes, uh, <clears throat> it goes both ways. Second marriage is not always... Uh, adultery. Um, if your spouse cheated, if your spouse abandoned you, there are there are certainly places where God gives permission to um, <clears throat> remarry. But 
but marriage is supposed to be for life, you know, and sadly, um, divorce in the church is as common as it is in the world. And, you know, and, um, yeah, it's, yeah, that's, that's a real thing. Um, I just look at this passage where Jesus is saying, let the little children come to me and, um, just think, you know, how could the disciples not see, uh, the importance of, of children and really question that, but yeah, you know, they just didn't see children as important enough to take some of the teacher's time to take some of Jesus's time, but he, that made him indignant and he rebuked them and, um, yeah, he he loves the children, and uh, that just blesses me. And, and and to think, you know, that we have to receive the kingdom like a child. And, you know, I think, um, yeah, just becoming um, trusting and, and excited and, and simplistic in our uh, faith towards God is a good thing. And anyway, this rich young man, he comes to Jesus and he wants to know what he must do to inherit eternal life. And Jesus is like, hey, you know the commandments. What, is, what does it say? And, and uh, he names all the uh, horizontal commandments towards man. You know, do not murder, do not steal, um, do not bear false witness, um, those things. And um, you guys like I've kept all these from my youth and and I, I really appreciate how it tells us that Jesus looked at him and, and he loved him uh, but he tells him you lack and uh, go sell everything you got and give it to the poor and come follow me and you'll have treasure in heaven and uh, he was not willing to do that and um, yeah it's 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 amazing to think of what 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 are you not willing to give up? I mean, this was no small ask. Jesus was was asking. It was a big ask on on the Lord's part. Um, but uh, anyway, Peter, you know, then um, or all the disciples are amazed, and who who then can be saved? And I think this is such an important part of the teaching is that with man it's impossible like we're never going to be perfect you know like and some of the gospels <clears throat> have the same account and uh you know when when <clears throat> the man says um what must i do to be saved or to inherit eternal life and um you know, then this whole thing where Jesus goes through, you know, no one is good. And it is impossible with man to be saved. Um, but not with God. For with God, all all things are possible. And I think ultimately, you know, salvation is, is not um, measured in um, just a one-time decision um i, I made a, a decision one time a long time ago to uh follow jesus but along the way he's called me to drop many things and there's been times where uh you know i picked them back up anyway and, you know it's just anyway <clears throat> i think with man it is impossible to be saved of ourselves, um, but not with God. With God, all things are possible, and he's made that possible by giving us his son who did live the perfect life and and, and sacrificed himself on our behalf. Um, but he does call us to sacrifice on his behalf and for the gospel, and he guarantees a hundredfold return. And I just want to say that, like, you know, if if Christians really believed that, if those who read the Bible uh, actually really believed that, I think our world would look dramatically different. You know, and if we if we would actually forsake all and uh, for for the for the gospel and and you know give our our wealth to 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 minister to the poor and just trust that all our true treasure is in heaven. I think we could have a major impact on this world, and that's that's really the call of the gospel is is to go all in. Um, but anyway, I just hope you guys all have a good day.